guys, it's Remy the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 199 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try to spawn yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. The time in years before the car experiences its first failure is exponentially distributed with a mean 2. So if it's exponentially distributed, we know if it follows a 1 over lambda, e to the negative t over lambda, where lambda is equal to 2. So you know that the probability distribution is going to be 1 over 2, e to the negative t over 2. But anyways, we're looking for the probability that a car experiences its first failure in the last quarter of some year. So let's say this is the first. This is our timeline. Let's say this is our first year. If it's our first year, basically it's asking what is the probability that x is greater than 0.75, where the first time they experiences some failure is in the last quarter. But let's say it's like from year one to year two. Like let's say it's this calendar year. Then the probability is different right because then now we're looking for just 1.75 probability that x is greater than 1.75 given it's between x is between x and one two right and likely likewise if it's like three we're looking for this part right here right 2.75 so the probability that x is greater than 2.75 given x is between three um two and one two and three i mean we can generalize this by saying what's the probability that x is greater than k plus 0.75 if k let's say is 1 then you know this is k k is less than x is less than if k is 1 let's say this value right here is just k plus 1 so this is what it's look what we're looking for here so this one we can say is the probability by a conditional probability formula, we can say this is the intersection of x is greater than k plus 0.75 and when x is between k and some k plus 1 divided by the probability of x less than x is bigger than some k but it's less than some k plus 1. The numerator, if x is greater than k plus 0.75, we know that's obviously bigger than k and that's less than k plus 1. So we can simplify the numerator to just say probability that then we can say x is between k plus 0.75 and some k plus 1. And the denominator just stays the same. Probably that x is between k and k plus 1. We know the CDF of an exponential function, or this technically is exponential decay function, <laughs> right? As some value x, this part right here is equal to 1 minus e to the negative k over 2, where I mean we were given as equal to 2. So then if we're looking for some k, some between k plus 1, let's say this is k plus 1, and then this is k plus 0.75, like k plus 0.75. If we find the CDF of k plus 1, and we subtract the CDF of k plus 0.75, so let's say we have k plus CDF of k plus 1, and we subtract the k plus 0.75, this part right here, we subtract the blue, then we get exactly what we're looking for, which is this green area right here, the range. So knowing that, the numerator is going to be exactly that, <laughs> the f of k plus 1 minus the f of k plus 0.75 divided by the f of k plus 1 minus the f of k. And we know the CDF is right here, so we can just plug that sucker in. Okay, so plugging it into our CDF, we're going to get 1 minus e to the negative k plus 1 over 2 minus 1 plus e to the negative k plus 0.75 over 2 divided by the 1 minus e to the negative k plus 1 over 2 minus 1 plus e to the negative k over 2. So then the 1's cancel out. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0 here. And I'm actually going to factor out e to the negative k over 2 from the top and the bottom. So when I factor it out from the top, you're going to get minus e to the negative 1 half plus e to the negative 0.75 over 2 divided by, in the denominator, you're going to get negative e to the negative 1 half as well, plus just 1. 
So let me, these just cancel out. So you end up getting approximately equal to 0 0.2052, which is our answer D. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!